I think when approaching a patient with medullary thyroid cancer, the first question to ask is, does this patient need treatment? And uh, actually, let me preface that. The first question to ask really is, can this patient be cured? Uh, if they have limited disease that's resectable, then they may have curative options. Let's assume that, that the patients that are being referred to a medical oncologist, for the most part, don't have uh, curative options. And then the question becomes, does this patient need treatment? And the parameters to look at there would be, what's the pace of their disease? How rapidly is it progressing? Are they getting new lesions? Are they symptomatic from the disease? Where are those lesions? Are those lesions imminently dangerous to them? Are we talking about brain metastases? Are we talking about large bone metastases? And so if the answer to that question is yes, and, and a parameter that I often use is how quickly have they progressed? If they're progressing within the last few months or even the last several months, uh, those, that's a patient that, in my mind, will require treatment, if not now, in the very near term. So if the answer to that question is yes, they need treatment, then um, really if, if XL184 is on the market, that would clearly be my first choice for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, the trial data are very strong. Uh, you have a patient population that was clearly uh, refractory and uh, what had clear evidence of progressive disease. Again, the progression-free survival in the placebo arm was four months. So here's a, uh, a fairly aggressive disease patient population. And then secondly, that, that point of patients being treated with a previous tyrosine kinase inhibitor and then enrolling on the um, XL184 and still responding, still uh, obtaining a benefit from that drug, I think is, is very impressive. And um, I've not seen that type of experience from the other tyrosine kinase inhibitors. So if XL184 was available to these patients, I, I, that would be my first choice.